Hi everybody, Lynn here. I haven't done a dog video in a long time and I decided I wanted to do one today because um, I have something that I need to do with my dachshund. Most of you know that we have a dachshund. You have, probably haven't seen her since she was four months old. She's probably almost three years old now. But I have this little problem with my dachshund and I'm going to try to fix it today. But I don't know what the reaction is going to be. And basically what she's been doing is she has this bad habit. She has a very, very good nose. And I've actually uh, tested her outside. I'll throw one piece of dry dog food out in the yard and she doesn't even know I did it. And I'll let her outside and she will find that dog food within two seconds. She goes straight to it. So she has this long skinny nose, of course, and these floppy ears which help, you know, help her ears or help her, her smell. But the problem that I'm having is, is that, like, for example, if I go downstairs and I have a plate of food and I'm going to sit in front of the TV and I set that plate of food down and the phone rings or something happens and I have to go and do something real quick, if I come back within 10 seconds or so, my food is completely gone. She has, she jumps up anywhere, she can get anywhere, and she can, she'll eat the whole plate. She'll lick it clean. And I've had to punish her by putting her in her kennel all the time, you know, whenever she does it. And so when I was at Lowe's today, I found something that I thought might fix her. Uh, it might not have any effect on her She's at all. She's outside right now, and I'm going to set her up with a hot dog in this bowl. And I'm going to put it on so, the floor. So uh, I just wanted to warn you about that. So here we go. We're going to try it. And I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. Okay, this is the thing I was talking about. And what you do is when something goes in front of it, let me try to get something out of the bowl. It's supposed to go down like that. So, so let's see what happens. We're going to put a hot dog in there, and then we're going to let her loose on it and see what she does. As you can see, I put uh, hot dogs in there, cut up hot dog. And I figured out something about it. It can't be used in the dark, so I'm not sure why this is useful during Halloween, because most times it's dark at, during Halloween. But anyway, we're going to try this and see what happens. I'm going to go out and get her. His reaction might help. There we go. She's going to smell that hot dog as soon as we get in the house. She's <laughs> <laughs> not afraid of the whole thing, but isn't that funny? Yeah, she got one piece of hot dog. Her instinct is overwhelming her. <laughs> the pug's like, oh my god, what is that? She's figured out how to trick it. <laughs> well, that was a waste of money. She's like, <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> oh, too funny. Get it, sis. <laughs> Pug's more scared than she is. She can get that hot dog no matter what. <laughs> even let the hand go down on her head. That's how strong her urge is to eat. <laughs> Bucky's a chicken. Oh yeah, she was really scared. That dog is fearless. She actually licked the fingers of the hand to make sure that she got it all. <laughs> okay. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs>